freaking packaging orders it's like seven something a.m and i'm like why the fuck am i up packaging orders at like seven o'clock a.m but i think i'm kind of nervous because you guys know i move into the studio i started packing a little bit of stuff up but i'm really not a good packer so i was gonna pay some movers but then i was like bitch save that coin i, I mean i guess i honestly could have pa paid some movers though it would have been quicker and faster and all I would have had to do was like literally sit in there and pack shit up. But I'm like, I don't like wasting money if I'm got to, you know what I mean, y'all? But anyway, I, like I said, I just got in packets and packages. Um, my friends called me this morning from the East Coast. A lot of them was like, why are you even up? I'm like, I think I'm nervous. But um, I'm just really excited for today. Because to me now, it's like I'm officially separating my business from my house. And with me separating my business from my house, it's like where do you go now but up like it's no you know going back so i'm really excited about that i will say i'm gonna give a tip basically before purchasing like a space for your business please make sure at first you're still going to be able to profit you still need to be able to make sure you're going to profit you shouldn't have to worry about paying rent that should be one of the least of your worries because if that's the case you can still stay inside of your home with it um so that's what i can say as far as with the process of it just because i can't say too much about how i feel about the space and stuff because it hasn't you know i haven't been in the space yet but i do know yeah, make sure you can afford it i mean everybody has most people have businesses and want to branch out but don't branch out too soon and that's the thing i didn't want to do i didn't want to branch out too soon because i did not want my business i didn't want to be like taking so much of my profit and putting it into my studio another thing is i feel like you have to like i said find something affordable make sure that something is right for you you know what i mean but i'm really excited to be honest i'm really really excited so um this morning i was just sitting here well i'm trying to edit a picture because I took some pictures yesterday when I was in there. And you guys know I'd like to. Since I'm a, I do Instagram and YouTube. I want to kind of make sure I get this stuff. Like a little bit. I want to make sure I do it like kind of special. Not special but kind of like more you know. When I go ahead and post to my um, Instagram feed. So I took this picture yesterday. And I'm going to post that to my Instagram later on, maybe around 3. So, you guys, definitely, definitely, um, you should comment on this picture. Go like it. Let me know you're from the vlogging channel. Because, you know, we gang. We squad. And, shit. I, I'm not going to lie. I be fucking with whoever be fucking with me the most. So, whoever be fucking with me most on social media, whether it's my Instagram fan, my vlog fan, my main channel fan, my Snapchat fan. That's what I be trying to get the stuff to. I know most people over there, but that, definitely please go comment on that and like on that, y'all. Um, so, I know y'all here, but I try to take a cute picture, you know. I think it made the studio look really nice um, in that picture form. Um, I'm not really doing too much else. I guess I'll continue packing a little bit, you know, and, um, I wonder how, I don't know how I should do it. Like, I don't know if I should record the process of moving into the studio. Should I show y'all the after, uh, aftermath of it or what I should do as far as with the studio. Cause I mean, the space is big, but it's not like too much to it to be doing a damn tour. So Maybe I can just record myself moving in and then do it before and after so you guys see how I turn it out. I feel like I'm going to do that thing real nice. I'm going to give me a nice little cow print rug in there. That's something I always wanted. Um, a nice dark, um, a nice dark desk in there. Um, I also want to do, you know, I got my clothing racks. I have two. I might go ahead and get a, another one. I might get a third one to go in there. Um. I do need some shelves and I do need some bins. So that's something that I'm really working on now. 
Um, I got a couple things that I want to do. So I'm really excited for that, you guys. And ready. Um, but that's pretty much it right now. I'm just trying to prepare my house to move out. I don't think nobody really understands how excited I am to have my store closed out of my house. Like, I don't think that people understand. Because... But I don't know, last night I started a vlog, I was like, no, I want to take this intimate moment to myself and like really sink it in that I'm like literally separating my business and my house. So now that I'm doing that, I just feel like, wow, this is real deal. What? This girl always want to call me and I don't be wanting to talk to her. I would ignore the hell out of her. Fast as fuck. I don't care. Well, somebody got their order. Oh my god, ain't that cute? What's the odds of me being on Snapchat and somebody got their freaking order? Told y'all that Diamond Happy blinging. Happy customer. She said she love it. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna get off here and just stop rambling. I was talking to Denim, but Denim is still in the bed, so I guess she over bullshit. And a few, I guess. Grandma, people were effing complaining, like effing complaining about when I was doing the Gucci inspired headbands when I was making them. Oh, um, you taking too long to make them? Why are you making fake headbands? Um. All this other stuff, just complaining. Your um headbands are too expensive. Who wants to pay a hundred thirty dollars for a headband? The real one's seven sixty. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take these effing headbands off the website. I'm gonna take these headbands off the website. So I take them off the website. That's the most requested item now. Or it has been the most requested item since I took it off is that Gucci inspired headband and people want me to bring it back But I really honestly don't want to as y'all do so much freaking complaining about the headband. It's too much money It's too expensive. It's too this is too that Not everybody want the headband and I don't feel like making them no more Well, don't come back on it That's what pissed me off like everybody was complaining about them headbands Thought my day too expensive. Now everybody want them. Hey. Yes. He is been terribly high. Yummy. Tell her call me on three way. Oh, she on now. What happened to her? I was talking to you, so she said she was on here. She called me back. Y'all, so Tyler made it here on fucking time. I want Tyler to that. Okay. He's never on fucking time, and I had to tell him about that. He needs to get his time together. But today we're on our way. You guys know we're moving shit in. We are packed the fuck up. Tyler even got a bag in his fucking hand. What you not gonna let me go? You dumb fucking bitch. Y'all, it's so bad. My seat is way fucking up here. Look, like, he's fuck. little. He can deal with it. Yeah, but what about like, I'm oh, fucking way old. If we in an accident, look. Bitch, the airbag is gonna hit me. A Pearl Studio, <laughs> we got some insurance, okay? <laughs> but y'all, yeah, we ready to move in. Um, I was thinking like when I was editing a vlog from last night, I see, remember I told that guy I wanted that other desk, he gonna be over me because I'm talking about, I don't want that desk no more, I want that other one. Yeah. Cause the other one looks way better. So, I hope he don't bring it up there yet because if he do, it's gonna be a little hot mess. But why is it? Oh, your seatbelt not on. Yeah. Okay, well, we gotta get off. That shit gonna annoy me. I can't vlog with that shit. So, you guys, me and Tyler here, I forgot they had a vlogging camera. So, literally, all we did was basically, all we did was we separated the stuff. Tyler was hanging the stuff up. We're trying to get another desk, but the motherfucker act like he wasn't trying to give it to us. So, but we're gonna get that shit regardless. So, it is what it is. But, um, a lot of people keep writing me in the dms and emailing me and stuff about being an assistant or intern or working for me but i feel like right now i need to get moved in and then i'm gonna handle that stuff probably like next week because i do need people that's like 
I need somebody that's like right here, right hand man, so that shit can get dealt with like on the regular. So if a bitch is not available, the shit is still gonna be moving. Um, so I don't know, I might post that on the website somewhere. I think I can do that on the website somewhere. But yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on. Then we're going to Walmart, you said? Mm -hmm. Tyler said Ikea is too expensive. I thought they was too cheap. Ikea is expensive. They, they, all that, they bougie. They want their coin. I don't know, but we're going to see what I can do. I'm so thankful to have some help today. Because a bitch would be ass out Secure honey. the bag. Oh, too Hello. Too. Secure the bag. And I'm ready to give me some type of big ass sticker. So that it can be um, like Glamazon Ted Pearl Studio. So like, you know, when I do lookbooks or all that type of shit. The stickers there look good. And whatever, whatnot. So. But this is only the first day in. So I feel like we're doing good. For the first we did day. do good for first day in. First day in. Whew, let me be scared. The first day in, we did good as fuck. Like, everything is moved into there. All we're doing is separating stuff, trying to figure out how many bins we need, and shit like that. And I want to go to the Dollar Tree because they got, like, them little plastic bins. Mm -hmm. I want to use them for jewelry because we don't need that big of a thing for jewelry. Like, jewelry, the rings, um, sunglasses. I'm going to have to do something about them because they're getting a little out of hand. But I figured out. Oh, and I need to go to the Lowe's or the Home Depot. What's there? So I can cover that desk. Oh. It's this desk there. I want to do a do-it-yourself project when Tyler didn't believe in it, but I do. Honestly. <laughs> he don't believe much. I have to show him. I gotta see it. Oh, you will. <laughs> Come on, bus. Right. I don't know if he's trying to wait for her or what. Right, he was waiting for her. Hey, guys. So we actually have the diamond headbands back in stock, but think about these ones are, they are way better quality. Instead, before you guys knew I was gluing them, but now I don't glue them anymore. Basically, I sew them. So like you see, hold on. Okay, so like now you see, it's like way better quality. This is sewn by machine now. So everything looks so much better in quality. That's done for that. Okay, you guys, I'm a business bitch. We got Tyler over there. Tyler, tell him what you're doing. Together the show. Tyler's over there putting the show together. I'm over here trying to get the little office part together. Um, basically, and I'm trying to put the printers together as well as get my business cards in line. We also, like I said, got the diamond headbands back in stock. But it seems like it's going to rain today. But I'm going to fix this desk. I'm going to do it like a do-it-yourself little project on this desk because... You know, I want to amp it up a little bit more. So, with that being said, I'm about to do something. All right, well, we got the first shelf done. Is it sturdy? Is they all matching up? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, all in the first one. But then you might as well put the other little black pieces first and then slide the next one on. That'll probably help you out. You know what I mean? So, I guess just count them up right the right way. That's pretty much all we're doing right now. And then we was gonna do some orders today, but I think that might be a little too much for us. What do you think? I think so. Oh, I think if we get this everything done in time, we might have some time to do a little bit. Okay, well we might do a little bit of order. It depends on you know what we feeling. Cause we ain't about to work ourselves. We did a lot today. We moved all this shit in here. Then we went to Walmart, got hella shit. Then we went and picked up some new merchandise, some new stuff. Like, we've been doing it today, okay? And then I done asked to be in a, I done got asked to be in a relationship. Y'all believe it? I said 2018, I was going, it was my motherfucking year. That's what I said. That's what I said, y'all. But, y'all know how I go. Some people be serious, some people don't. But, um, I don't know. I think it would be cute putting marble on this desktop. You don't think so? This part of the desk be marble? At the top? Just the top part. Yeah. I think that'd be cute too. I'm gonna do this little project tomorrow. I'm gonna come here tomorrow morning early as fuck. So in whatever time, time Tyler get up, Tyler can, you know, get to it too. But y'all, I'm so embarrassed about this raggedy ass. Well, I'm not even embarrassed. I'm just mad as fuck about this raggedy ass fucking, um, Printer, y'all know how my damn printer be acting. Fucking stupid. Look at her. Beat up. 
But she worked up, so I ain't gonna talk shit on her. That's what she did for this. She made sure she works. And then I put a broke two nails. That's why I was telling Tyler, I wanna get my nails done so bad, but I'm not gonna get my nails done because, um, I'm not gonna get my nails done because my damn, um, because I knew we were gonna be moving shit today. And I really didn't feel like dealing with getting some fresh ass nails. Let me let y'all see Tyler over there working like a worker bee. Don't be trying to show no first nasty. Of all, first of all. First of all, what? <laughs> I gotta show my productiveness. No, at first Tyler was making me mad as fuck. Cause Tyler was like, I don't think they put all the pieces in here. I said, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I know damn skippy they put all the fucking pieces in there. And then I ended up finding the damn thing that Tyler is working on. So we just like, what the fuck? Oh, and a couple people was like, Tay, is this gonna be open by the time some, some, some? Okay, let me work it down to y'all. I'm not, it's not gonna be like a store. This is basically, to separate my home from my store. This is for when I when stylists, like a lot of stylists be wanting to meet me and pull stuff from my website. This is what that's for. This is for me to be able to have a more professional setup versus just working out my motherfucking house. And then on top of that, um, you know, I want it to be more of a creative space for me so that I'm able to, oh, to the next level. So I didn't do. That's why the whole point here. Elevation. That's fine. Like that? That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. That's cool. We finally found freaking pieces. I was about to have no, to No, I found the pieces. Okay. Yet another truth. But this is too much. So I got you. Yes. <laughs> ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Look, Tyler said he don't want me to get nobody else in here working for me. No! Every time I get like, I build relationships with people, they be like, not wanting me to work with other people. Every damn time. Who is this? No, y'all need to go find Oh, I gotta build y'all. That's my sister. What the fuck? Why she hang up? I'll find it right. Hey, you guys. We're at the Glam's on Tim House studio. You know, I'm in here being a worker bee. We did a little bit of hanging up today. We got some stuff over there on the shelves. Of course, we gotta get another shelf because that's the answer, not gonna be enough. And then I got my little office table over here, so I'm like, you know, setting out for what I want. So how do you feel today, Tyler? Do you feel like it's productive? I feel very productive. We got a lot of stuff done today. Yeah, you know? I think tomorrow we're gonna do orders. And also, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna do orders. I'm gonna record like one or two videos in here. Um, and that's pretty much it. So after that, it's a wrap for us. But I'll see you guys later. See you later.